why we should study gender studies okay what is the importance of this new discipline called gender studies of course it has been here for some time uh, but many people question about the, the, this 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 particular topic area and many people think that it's it's an agenda is a hidden agenda uh, of for some vested groups but uh, uh, there is no truth to that okay uh, gender studies is very important because it it is it affects everybody okay uh, in other words gender as a study is not a discipline that only benefits women now there is misconception that gender studies is is just like uh, it's all about women that's not the case gender studies is more about the relationship between men and women okay it's not like focusing entirely upon women that's not the case it's only half half the, the the perspective it talks about the relations between men and women and gender studies this this discipline believes that uh, if we study those relationships between men and women then it will benefit even the even men okay uh, gender studies the basic premise is that heterosexuality uh, is not inherently problematic but heteronormativity is okay now heterosexuality is simply it's that uh, the opposite genders man and woman male and female are having sex with each other okay it's not like homosexuality where people from the same gender you know they have sexual affinity towards each other so gender studies the basic premise is that there's no problem there's no inherent problem with uh, people that is uh, male and female having sex with each other though, though these two opposite genders they are not the they are not the root cause of the problem uh, the problem is heteronormativity, which places value on certain acts and restricts others. For example, men go to work outside. Okay, now that work is has it, uh, the society places more more value on that work. Okay, whereas if women work in their in their homes, they cook food and they they reproduce they produce the babies and they raise them, they rear them. Now those activities are equally important, of course, in their own right. Okay, so what what gender studies questions is that why should some work some work uh, especially those which men perform have enjoy greater value and why do the work which women perform it should it should have uh, it should be considered uh, a sort of sort of lower form of work okay because both are equally important so that is what gender studies these questions it raises these questions secondly men are not inherently problematic patriarchy is okay gender studies as there is often misconception that it's against men and it's pro women that's not the case it does not blame men as being being the being the problem it it the way where gender studies identifies the problem is that men and women are in a like master slave relationship men are in the men are the powerful group and women are the powerless men are the oppressors and women are the being the oppressed class okay if if both you know are are like on an equal footing and then that's it uh, gender studies uh, that's that's it's all about okay it's about the relationships between men and women so heteronormativity places value on certain acts and restricts others which in turn creates hierarchy based upon acts that become identity through socialization so these like if you attach more value to some acts and less to, to others then of course this will naturally create a hierarchy uh, you can see it even in the in the in the in the, in the workforce where you work now those people whose work is important or at least considered important they will naturally they have a more say in the overall scheme of things whereas those people who are do, doing clerical things or menial tasks they, they won't have much say because their work is not uh, that important or at least the, that particular organization does not value their work same is the case with this man woman relationship okay if society places uh, different value value on the work which they do then of course inequality is bound to be there so these are the basic presumptions which gender studies questions and it tickles it tickles your curiosity to explore these questions so very interesting subject of course because women are oppressed everywhere uh, so you should take up this subject to to build uh, an alternative narrative uh, okay to to see the world from a different perspective uh, thanks for watching